Have you ever stood in a fields of white run and thought to yourself, I wish this world felt a little more alive or stared up at the night sky and wished you could see new constellations? Well, what if I told you that the power to reshape this world, to go from being just a player to a creator is entirely in your hands? <laughs> this isn't a story about playing Skyrim anymore. This is a story about building it. And every great creator needs their tools. Welcome to the world of modding. Today, we're going to open up a true Dragonborn's toolbox together. These aren't just programs, they're secret keys, magical forges, and diplomatic scrolls that let you reweave the very fabric of Skyrim to your will. Our journey begins with the most fundamental choice, how you set up your workshop. Before we add a single new sword or a cool new spell, we need to build a solid foundation. This chapter is all about creating a stable Skyrim that won't buckle under the weight of hundreds of mods. Your mod manager is your most important tool. This isn't just a technical choice. It's a choice about your modding lifestyle. Think of Mod Organizer 2 or MO2 as a magical library. Every mod is a book on its own isolated magical shelf, never touching the original game files. Your game always stays clean, and untouched. What does that mean? If something breaks, you know exactly where the problem is. Resolving conflicts is like arranging books on a shelf. You just drag and drop the mod you want to have priority higher or lower in the list. You have total control. Why it's great? Because of this precise control. The pros and people who build massive mod lists absolutely love it. It also works with awesome tools like Wabajack. Enabling and disabling mods is instant because no files are actually being moved around. Vortex is like a modern automated laboratory. You just give it the ingredients, your mods, and it makes sure nothing explodes. What does that mean? It sets its own rules to prevent mods from conflicting. Why it's great. Vortex, the official manager from Nexus Mods, is built for ease of use. When two mods have a problem with each other, you tell it once which one you prefer and Vortex remembers. This makes it incredibly user-friendly for beginners. If you mod other games besides Skyrim, Vortex makes your life a lot easier. Choosing between MO2 and Vortex is kind of like choosing between driving a manual or an automatic car. Both get you to your destination, but the experience is completely different. It's interesting to know that both tools were made by the same person, so these differences are intentional. Some people want to have complete control over everything and tighten every bolt themselves. They go for MO2. Others prefer efficiency and speed, trusting a smart system to handle things. They choose Vortex. Your choice here determines which companion tools, like Wabajack or Collections, you'll have easier access to down the line. So choose wisely. SKSE, Skyrim Script Extender. Imagine the Skyrim game has a simple programming language. SKSE is like adding a much, much more powerful and advanced language to it. This allows mod authors to create magic that the original game developers never even dreamed of. Almost all complex mods that change gameplay, add new user interfaces, or do generally wild things require SKSE. This tool opens up whole new doors for creativity. Address library for SKSE. Every time Bethesda updates the game, it's like a small earthquake that changes the address of every house in town. This breaks all your SKSE mods. Address library is like a magical GPS that, after every earthquake, quickly finds the new addresses so your mods don't get lost. This tool saves you from the headache of game updates. Before this, with every Skyrim update, we had to wait for every single mod to be updated. But now, thanks to this address library, most mods continue to work without a problem. SSE Engine Fixes. This tool is like a master architect who comes in and repairs all the tiny cracks in the game's engine itself. 
bugs that the original developers left behind that can cause the whole structure to collapse when you install a lot of mods, this tool fixes dozens of deep technical bugs that normal mods can't touch. From memory management issues to graphics bugs and save file corruption in heavily modded games, for a stable game, installing this is more essential than your morning coffee. If your modded world is an advanced spaceship, Sky UI is its main control panel. It replaces the game's clunky, console-designed menus with a sleek, efficient interface fit for a PC artisan. Besides the better look and functionality, Sky UI has a revolutionary feature called the Mod Configuration Menu, or MCM. This is an in-game settings menu where other mods can add their own options. This way you can easily change mod settings without ever leaving the game. Almost every good, configurable mod has an MCM menu. Okay, now that we've laid the foundation, it's time to learn how to establish peace and harmony between all these different mods, made by different authors, so they work together correctly. The Ambassador and the Diplomat, Loot and Exedit, Loot is like your kingdom's ambassador. You send it out to take a quick look at all your commanders, your mods, and based on known rules, it arranges them in a neat, logical line. Your load order. This is the first step to preventing chaos. After the ambassador has arranged everyone, you, as the ruler, sit down at this table to review the details. Xedit shows you exactly which two mods are fighting over the same thing, conflicting records. Then, with your own hands, you can write a new law, a patch, that combines the best features of both and establishes a lasting peace. Xedit gives you complete control over the details. It's the main tool for resolving deep conflicts and creating compatibility patches. It might take a little time to learn, but the power it gives you is unparalleled. The Specialist Councils, Rybash and Synthesis, Rybash is like your kingdom's council of merchants with a very important specialty, managing loot and item lists. When several different mods all want to add new items to chess and enemies, Rybash creates a bashed patch that ensures items from all the mods show up in the game, not just the last one you installed. Synthesis is like building a magical golem. Instead of negotiating every issue yourself, you give the golem a set of instructions and it automatically creates a comprehensive, unified law for your entire kingdom, your mod list. This is the most modern and intelligent way to pad. These tools show a clear evolutionary path. First, there were simpler tools like Loot and Rybash. Then, the need for more control led everyone towards Xedit and manual patching. But when mod lists get really big, manual patching is incredibly tedious and prone to error. That's how Synthesis was born. This tool transformed patching from a repetitive task into a smart, automated process. Today, creating a patcher for Synthesis is as valuable as making a new mod, which shows just how much the modding community has advanced. Now we get to the exciting part, movement. These tools breathe life into the game's characters, making combat and movement feel more natural and dynamic. Nemesis, unlimited behavior engine. Nemesis was like a revolutionary choreographer who came in and broke all the old rules. The old master, FNIS, was very strict and controlled everything. But Nemesis created an open stage where anyone can create new moves. The result was an explosion of creative animation mods that turned Skyrim's combat completely upside down. Pandora Behavior Engine. And then there's Pandora, the next gen genius. She knows the work of both the old master, FNIS, and the revolutionary Nemesis. Pandora combines the best of both worlds, the power and flexibility of Nemesis and FNIS's ability to manage creature animations, all in a faster, more stable engine. Pandora is the latest and greatest tool for the job. It's compatible with all previous mods, 
is much faster, and most importantly, it brings back support for creature animations, which was Nemesis's weak spot. This tool is the future of animation in Skyrim. Open Animation Replacer, OIR gives your animations personality and context. OR lets them limp when they're injured, hug themselves when it's cold, or move differently when holding a heavy sword. This tool gives meaning and context to every movement. This final chapter is about the tools that let you optimize your world, push the graphics to their limits, and put the final touches on your masterpiece. Creation Kit. The Creation Kit is the original, official toolkit left behind by the gods, Bethesda, themselves. With this tool, you can build new quests, create new worlds, and do basically anything you can imagine. But this tool is very old, slow, and sometimes frustrating. It's essential for some big jobs, but for smaller tasks, there are better tools available. Dyndolid, Dynamic Distant Objects LOD. Dyndolid is the magical paintbrush that makes your world whole. When you add a new castle to the game, you can't see it from a distance. It just pops into existence in front of you. Dyndolid comes along and scans your entire modded world, then paints a new, seamless, distant landscape. That way, what you see on the horizon is exactly what you'll be walking through when you get there. Crash Logger. This tool is your oracle. When the world you've built, for whatever reason, falls apart and the game crashes, this oracle gives you a cryptic scroll, a crash log. If you can read this scroll, it will tell you exactly where the problem is and how you can save your kingdom. This tool is your best friend when it comes to troubleshooting. Without it, finding the cause of a crash is like finding a needle in a haystack. But with this tool, you can usually figure out which mod is the culprit in just a few minutes. And so, our journey comes to an end. From choosing your workshop to the final brushstroke on your world's horizon, you're now familiar with all the necessary tools. These are the tools of creation. They might seem a bit complex at first, but they are all learnable. Now the power is in your hands. This story isn't just about the Dragonborn anymore. It's about you, the creator. Go and build the Skyrim you've always dreamed of. Your world is waiting.